Hey, so I'm going to title this video, Making Your Own Rooting Powder. We do a lot of cuttings here, and we propagate a lot of our plants. There's a lot of things that you can take cuttings from, and sometimes even if they tell you you can't propagate it through a cutting, if you try enough times, you'll be successful. For example, we were able to cop, uh, propagate our pomegranate cuttings that we, when we cut back our bush, and about one-tenth of them actually took root and have turned into little trees already. This is the funny thing about rooting powder. Now, I probably can't show you name brands, but I ran in like everyone else to Home Depot, and I grabbed a bottle of rooting compound, which cost me $7 almost with tax. And I was trapped. Uh, I couldn't get in the car because my friend was still shopping next door. And I started to read the ingredients. And when I read the ingredients, shockingly enough, it said that it was 99.9% .9 inert, inert ingredients. That means that 99.9% .9 of what's in this is nothing, is fluff. So I was like, um, what the hell? I just paid $7 for 35 grams or one and one fourth ounce of fluff. So I, oh, what is the active ingredient? So I look at red and it says right here, because legally they have to, what the active ingredient is. And the active ingredient is indole 3 butyric acid. So I went online to eBay and guess what? I found five grams of 99% pure indole 3 butyric acid at 99%. This bottle had free shipping, 99% concentrated, and uh, cost the same amount as this fragmented and fluffed up version. So what I did is I ordered this from eBay. It had free shipping. When it came, I figured out the measurements, which is easy enough to do, and I created my own, uh, my own inert ingredients using cornstarch. They said you can use talc, but I think cornstarch is a good conduit because the idea of rooting compound is that it, um, you know, it's antibacterial, antifungal, and it also has a hormone that helps to promote uh, the roots coming up from the plant. And I know corn uh, is used in variations, corn oil and corn powder to um, fight different uh, funguses in the garden. So it has worked really, really well for me. And you can make it more concentrated that way. And you can play around. This chemical has other applications that can be a lot of fun to play with. And that's it. So save yourself some money and don't be fooled. Start reading the ingredients of things, people, because with a little bit of intelligence, you'll see you're really being taken and you can create a much better version of some of these products yourself. Thanks for watching.